柳隼人People these days enjoy a strong main character, a character that is actually able to accomplish many things in the series and do what is necessary for them to reach their goal. So I thought it would be a great idea to, you know, enter into some magic school anime settings and also recommend the strongest main characters within those two genres together. So if you are new here, then please make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notifications bell turned on so you stay up to date with the latest anime news and recommendations right at your doorstep. Now, without keeping y'all waiting, let us begin with the video. Let us kick things off with Trinity 7, which is a harem series focusing on the theme of a transfer student joining a magical school or academy. Seeming like a weakling, not much to be said about the protagonist until later down the line, his actual true potential can be seen hidden within him. The school setting with many girls, you know, surrounding the main character. Life is about to be completely different for Arata as he enters new territory, discovers his newfound powers, and hopefully get along with the girls during his first encounter with them. You know, it's a very strong harem series and of course possibly one of the better ones from its contenders so I'd highly recommend checking this one out Magical Warfare or Maho Senso is a series following a character who suddenly turns into a magical user after dealing with a random unconscious girl he met in which he discovered that he lives in a world where pretty much magic is a possibility. So he did what other people would do and that is to transfer to a magical school with other people who are similar to him to learn to channel their powers and live with other humans in peace. But of course, peace is far beyond from achievable as everyone has different reasons to fight for what they want and must learn to harness their powers in order to fight off the enemy of this world. Unbreakable Machine Doll is another trope of a transfer student that failed the entrance exams, thus making him look like as if he is the weakest member in school. However, the aim of the school is to actually train puppeteers to control those called automatons to become more skilled. Now, everyone deserves a second chance, as they always say, which is why the main character now must defeat the top 100 students to join a tournament, and the winner will receive a very rare weapons art and earn the title of Wise Man. A lot of action truly awaits you in this anime, and I highly recommend checking this one out. Monoria and Friends tells a very unique story which takes place in an academy that features three factions, ranging from humans, gods, and also demons, who always engage in battle as they don't really always seem to get along with each other. Two main female protagonists, Anne, who is a princess and honor student, and the other is Greya, who is born from dragon folk and human. Now, it may seem like a very short series, but despite that, this anime actually teaches you about friendship in which both characters can shine in an unusual manner. Both characters struggle with one another thing and they, you know, do see that in each other as they slowly get more confident and build their status. It's very underrated, so definitely do check it out. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
This anime is something I really enjoyed watching a lot when it aired back then. UQ Holder tells a story of a weakling at the start of the series. No magic capabilities or anything special, but it was attending a school while others had special talent. Now his mentor named Yukihime is actually a vampire with special powers, and upon saving Tota, who is the protagonist from near, you know, death experience, he licked her blood and was on the floor dying, thus gaining newfound powers, including immortality. And now he can finally chase his dream of reaching space, but however, not to mention now he can also join a tournament filled with other immortal beings known as UQ holders, and this right here is where the true adventure begins. Akuma no Riddle takes place in an elite prestigious old girls academy, but here's the catch of this series. Now a group of girls along with the protagonist are trying to kill this one classmate named Haru, and whoever succeeds will be granted any wish they absolutely desire. However, the thing is, they only get one shot to do this assassination, and failing will result in them being expelled from the school. It's an intense, brutal series with assassination, stealth, planning, and interesting events that will take place in this anime. So if you're into assassination, type series, then this is something you should definitely consider watching. A young girl dies, and during her afterlife, she ultimately wished for her abilities to be as average as possible. But of course, somehow, she managed to discover that she is actually a broken and overpowered being in this brand new world, when all she wanted was an ordinary and peaceful life, but I guess that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Normally, a person would actually wish to be overpowered, but she just wanted the complete opposite. Now, she enrolled into a, an academy, and she proceeds to hide her true powers while actually trying to reach her ultimate goal, but that however might stop her due to the unforeseen events that will occur in this anime. Ravens is a well put together show of a weak character at first, losing his beloved girlfriend at the start with regret that he couldn't save her. The world is in danger due to the great spiritual disaster that is going to be happening once again, putting citizens in danger. But an organization was tasked to exercise these disasters and kill those demons that might possibly make their way into this world. Now, the main character named Haruto, despite being born from a family known for their powers, he actually has no magical powers within him at all, but all that actually actually changes drastically when the unexpected took place. Hundred is a harem series with lots of etchy elements in there for all you cultured fans, but ultimately Hayato is the protagonist who was transferred to a prestigious academy which is an all-girls school. Strange creatures and called savages are the world's main enemy and the students in the school train to use high-class futuristic weaponry to deal with these monsters out there. Of course, it's not a harem series without many girls finding interest in the main character Hayato for being the only male in the school and for having unique powers different from any other person. Hayato! <laughs> 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 
finally on this list we have is the greatest demon lord reborn as a typical nobody. Now keep in mind boys and girls, this show is not actually out yet and will be released next season. But I'm adding it in here just to, you know, hype you up for another potentially cool looking show of an overpowered demon lord that transfers to an academy and possibly destroy all those who stand in his way. This kind of actually reminds me of Misfits of Demon Lord Academy with Anus Svoldigod, but it will be cool to see how this series specifically does because so far the trailer looks really entertaining, flashy, and not to mention how overpowered our main protagonist looks. <laughs> Well, this looks like the ending point for our magical adventure as it is time to put the video to a close for now. If you have enjoyed to the end of the point of this video, then I highly thank you for doing so. And if you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like to show your support as I'd always appreciate that on my videos. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next one.